G'day, it's uh, David here from Team Taekwondo. Today I'm going to cover something very basic, but it's good that we get it right at the start. Okay, now it's punching. All right, you need to punch with those front two knuckles there, okay, because they're supported by the big bones that go straight up the arm, straight line. If you ever hit with these two little knuckles there, they can break off easily They're like little side bones. Okay, so we want to firstly make a good fist and punch with that. No thumbs in the way like this, no thumbs like this. Okay. Now, what the common, most common thing is when we teach kids, and everyone does this, guys. If you're not trained, you'll do this. Okay. I'll get into a horse riding stance because that's traditionally how we how we start. They can be from anywhere. All right. From here, when people punch, when they start, they will go to the opposite shoulder. But we're not punching to the shoulder. Okay. That's the natural thing to do. We want to punch to the solar plexus here. If you feel at the bottom there where the rib cage joins, if anybody has ever been hit there you know about it, all the air just goes out of your body, okay? So that's what you're aiming for. So it feels like when you're actually doing it, you're hitting to the middle, you're hitting low and across, and it is a bit, it's from here. So we get kids to do this in the mirror, and just where that badge is there, under there. And then we swap over hands, under there. So that's the correct punching in our pumse, and even in our self-defense, is punching to that point there, rather than punching opposite to someone's shoulder. All right. See you next time.